What's going on guys? Um, this is going to be a real quick video. I'm not going to teach you how to change the spark plugs in this one. I just wanted to give you a scenario. So, uh, a customer calls me yesterday and he's like, uh, you know, it's been real um, rough starting my car in the morning, right? So I'm like, what do you mean rough? He's like, you know, it takes a long time to to turn over, I guess, you know, to start up. But then when I got in the car, I counted out, I'm gonna come and check it out. And I came to the car, the car was actually, sorry, it's crazy in this one on the streets right now, right? So the car was actually, it, still, it turned on fine, you know, it revved up fine, it turned on, I turned it off, turned it back on, and I didn't feel the hiccup. But he's like, no, 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 every morning, every time I'm in the car, you know, it takes a while to start up every time. So I said, well, hey, listen, what, what I know about startup is that startup is a, is a mixture of, you know, obviously air, fuel, and then you would have uh, your spark plugs, electricity. So I said, change the electricity, right, to give it some more spark, right, ignite ignite the fire even more, and uh, change the belt, the serpentine belt, just because I know the serpentine belt gives you torque, and um, torque that does have to do with power, right? Um... And he says, "Fine, no problem. Let's do it." So I told him tomorrow. So I pulled up today, and this is the good thing. And the good thing about knowing what you're talking about before you save yourself a lot of time of diagnostics and stuff like that. He didn't get any spark plug codes, no check engine light codes, obviously, right? But he's already noticing that his car is taking longer to start up in the morning. So he calls me. So, anyways, uh, I go and take out one spark plug. One spark plug, guys. Check it out. Right, check it out. Horrible, burnt. I don't know when he when's the last time he changed this. I never changed it, obviously, on his car, but I've changed this on multiple on multiple Odysseys before on the Odyssey. So, um, if you really look close, really look close, it's actually broken. See, I know you see it right there. It's broken. I don't know that autofocus is crazy, but it's broken and um. Not to drive and talk and record at the same time, but it's broken right up there. You can see it perfectly right there. And I've never honestly seen that that crack off, you know, electricity crack off. So most definitely on this cylinder alone, he's not getting a direct spark, meaning the electricity is going elsewhere. So this one cylinder alone is not pressurized the right way already. And this is only one that I took out. Let me show you them brand new. It's a nice clean one right there. Say hi. What's up? 